Hello, it's uh, Jörn from Brabus. Um, I can have the joy to welcome you here in our new Brabus uh, G900 Rocket Edition. Um, it is a very special um, uh, GCAS version, what has uh, as its heart uh, our Brabus 900 horsepower V8 rocket engine, as you know it from the Brabus Rocket 900. Um, the interior is massive, uh, modified with uh, uh, Alcantara leather. Um, uh, interior with uh, red anodized um, parts here around, uh, so very shiny, um, combined with uh, uh, um, carbon fiber, special uh, um, batches, um, and um, what is also important, a single seat system for the rear. Um, so very comfortable with a big center console, with affordable tables, uh, a small fridge um, and all the accessory what you want to have when you use it as a chauffeur car. Um, the Bravos uh, G900 Rocket Edition has a four and a half liter V8 engine as you know it from the Bravos Rocket 900. It's basically really the same engine so a modified crankshaft, con rods, pistons to increase uh, cubics from four liter to four and a half liter. We have uh, modified turbochargers, um, special catalytic converters, uh, special uh, particle filters, complete valve controlled exhaust system. So everything um, it's uh, from modification wise uh, uh, the same as with the Rocket 900, um, but here integrated in the G wagon from the, from the Rocket Edition. I want to show you the difference between a Brabus 800, a G800 White Star and the G900 Rocket Edition. It is a lot of more carbon fiber parts on this car to give it a little bit more on-road sport look. You have the uh, carbon fiber grille, you have the carbon fiber front lip, what uh, is uh, attached to the Brabus White Star front part. We have here the Bravo's um, hood attachment uh, made from carbon fiber. It's well known also from the G800. Um, we have the fender covers in carbon. We have the rocket sign here made also in covered in carbon fiber. Um, we have our special rocket exhaust system with carbon covers and um, valve controlled exhaust system. What is for sure the main difference is the uh, Brabus Aero Disc for the 24 inch uh, wheels. It is uh, same design but different diameter as you know it from the Brabus Rocket 900. We have the rear diffuser also made complete in carbon fiber. So that means that is the regular Brabus White Star part and additional for the Rocket Edition we have this carbon fiber diffuser. We put the spare wheel away to give it also again a more sporty look and have this special carbon fiber cover and for sure we have a rocket design 
rear spoiler with uh, aluminium uh, parts and carbon fiber. Um, so very similar to the uh, Brabus Rocket uh, 900 rear spoiler. Suspension is a quite a special system here in the G900 Rocket Edition. Um, all dampers um, uh, and coilovers are machined from the billet, from a, a very strong uh, aluminium material. We have a, a, a damping technology what is based on special spool valves, um, so that give us a very good compromise between uh, stability and handling of the car uh, and a good comfort. The GV12, as has uh, written in its name, uh, has the V12 engine, was, uh, is a 6.3 litre bitrol. Here we have our 4.5 litre V8 engine. The power output is really similar, it's 900 per, uh, horsepower in both uh, engine, V12 and V8. And we have a maximum torque from 1200 Newton meters. So the performance numbers are the same. The different are the numbers of uh, the cylinders uh, and it's V8 comparing to V12. We, uh, we will build, uh, we will build um, 25 cars okay. of the G900 Rocket Edition. Very limited. Very limited. It will be 10 cars this year okay. and 15 cars for uh, 2022. What is in totally limited on the on the specialist what we need to produce this engine and these cars you know that is combined this year with the 10 uh, Brabus rocket 900 engines we have 10 for the g900 rocket edition and then for next year we calculated 15 to 20 engines but it will be 15 g900 rocket edition so in total 25 cars wow it's amazing with this damper technology what we have. It's a good compromise between comfort, but on the wise, as you can see, when you start to stir, turn the steering, it's, it's a super body control. The car follows the steering quite precise. Very, what very you, steady, very steady. It just feels very, yeah. very planted when yeah. you turn. We, we speak about body control, you know? We, yeah. make, uh, we use the dampers to, to create a high, Temper control, uh, body control, and roll control, and also you know when the car is now it's, it's stone juggling around, so it's <laughs> stable, it's stiff, it's settled, and that is what we want to have with a good compromise regarding comfort. Yes, hardly any body roll, and and the ride feels very comfortable driving. Yeah, you no, know, when you when you keeping uh, into account that you have 24 inch rims, what for sure not help <laughs> yeah, regarding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, comfort and uh, ride um, it is I think a very good compromise between stability and, and keep in mind you know this car has a top speed from 280 kilometers wow. per hour <laughs> uh, with a live axle on the rear so you know uh, it must be stable yeah. and that is I think it feels car. very very stable car very capable so we're gonna do the some straight light yeah. straight line runs yeah, no, no. and uh, we're gonna check 0 to 60 Zero to 100. Zero to 100. And zero to 200 kilometer per hour. So, uh, so we will do some straight line speed testing. Zero to 60 miles per hour. Okay. Is 96 kilometers per hour. Yeah. Zero to 100 kilometers per hour. And zero to 200 kilometers per hour. Full acceleration. We will see what we reach. Okay. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> oh. This thing is a rocket. <laughs> Whoa! The G force. Wow! So we just hit. No, the, it's three. It's, 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 three point seven volts. One or two, uh, yeah. zero to one hundred. Yeah. So we three point six. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. They reach, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. One is super uh, 0 to 60 miles per hour, uh, 3.44 seconds. Wow. <laughs> and uh, 0 to 200 is uh, 12.3 seconds. So, you know, Crazy. without any wheel spin. No, no, we wheel, no wheel spin. And car yeah. felt really stable. Yeah. I was scared in the beginning, but you know, once we've done one run, I've seen the capability of this car is amazing. Yeah. Wow. And there's the proof. <laughs> Here are the numbers. Okay, can we do the second run? But yeah. may I say, so what mode the car is in? Um, also, now the car is okay. So the last mode we did was in comfort mode. We got it the last first run we did in comfort mode, and now we go to sport mode, sport plus mode. I switch the suspension to soft because it's better here on this bumpy yeah. track. And yeah. Okay, now so we are in uh, sports mode. Correct, sport mode. And let's see the second run. What we do? Okay. Let's go. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> this thing is crazy. It's 3.3, round it up. Yeah, yeah. And it's 3.5. Anyway, you know, for a car it's a g-wagon it's, it's a g-wagon it's crazy yeah. i mean this this car i i, I have a g-wagon mm. standard one uh, you know it's an impressive engine but this car is another level it it goes so fast and the first run we did it in uh, comfort mode and i thought that was sports plus and now we're done in sports mode and look at the figures wow it's amazing this machine is mental machine. <laughs>